All right, welcome back, everybody. We are officially down to the last step before we analyze, and that last step is to stabilize our images. So we have now got, here's our folder, um, we've now got our processed Meridian flip images here, which means all our images are the right side up. Uh, and the next step is to stabilize them. Before you do that, it is worth making a backup file just in case you mess up some of these images. You never know. Always good to have a backup. All right, so let's import our image sequence into, let's see, RT data. Let's import it into image J. We're going to import the non backup, so this one here. Um, because it is not a backup, it's our primary. All right, we've got 360 images still, all sorted. Let's bring those up. Technically speaking, with Astro Image J, there are two ways to stabilize these images. Uh, if you go to process here on our stack, there is align stack using WCS or apertures, and then there's align stack using image stabilizer. Don't do that one. In my experience, it's too much, depends on how powerful your computer is, but it's too much for my computer. It just causes the computer to freeze. So we're going to do aligning the stack with WCS or apertures. The apertures are these little circles that we have around our red arrow here. Now, this is going to vary between, of course, this is our data. You're going to be looking at your own data. For me, I'm inclined to use this star here. Um, and we'll use a couple other ones. Mostly, the, the number one thing you want is to choose stars that are far away from other stars so that the program doesn't get confused. Uh, for us, we have a bit of an issue because we had we Meridian flipped our data. So if you look, this is all very gentle, gradual movement, which is easy for the image stabilizer. But there is a little hop here which is harder for the image stabilizer because you, when you're doing these apertures, it's looking within these circles for that brightness. And if your circle is here, then the next star over, that might jump out of the circle. So we kind of want to have big circles on these. To change the aperture, you can go to this little button here. It's the little circle targets that we have with the word set, change aperture, aperture settings. I may actually jump this up. Oh, we'll leave it here for now. This looks pretty good for our star. So. To the stabilizing, we're going to go to process and don't do that. I've done it before, and then I have to restart my computer. Okay, so align stack using WCS or apertures. Make sure these are all unchecked. Align only to whole pixels is fine, um, and show help panel is fine. The other thing you want to do, so we've scrolled through to the end of our stack using this little scroll thing down here. You want to start at the beginning, otherwise it won't align everything. So make sure you go back to one. This is the settings for our our little circle aperture thing. Um, if you take a closer look, you'll see there's three. So there's the inner, middle, and outer. First thing we're going to use to stabilize is this one. Let's click on that. Left click, and it'll bring you your first one. Let's use, we want to do things that are relatively far away from one another because then it stabilizes the whole image. We'll choose three. These three look good. Perfect. We've got our three. And now we're going to right click and run it. It may take a minute, so I'll speed it up for you. Now we're getting close to that jump, so let's see what happens. Oh, sort of through everything just fine. That's great. Sometimes if you have a jump like that, you may have to run it multiple times and make the apertures nice and big. So far, this has been pretty good. OK, it's not bad. So if you take a look, it's nice and aligned at the end, but it shifts a little before that. So what we're, to fix this problem, it's still, see, it's still within that inner circle. So what we have to do is make that inner circle smaller and maybe choose some smaller stars instead. So let's, hmm, let's reset, go up to here, the change aperture settings, reset that, drop it down a ton. We're going to drop it down to five. This is just for our stars. Again, you may have to adjust this a little bit, depending on what your stars look like. We'll go all the way down to 15. Leave a little bit of, there we go. So then when we look at this now, we can get really close in on those stars. And when they shift, they'll still be within that within that inner circle. We'll hope for, we'll hope for that. All right, so this little button here cleans off all the apertures that we had on there before, clear apertures. So you just hit that button there, and then it goes away. And we're going to process through apertures one more time. Make sure that these are all unchecked again, because sometimes it'll recheck that use previous three apertures. Also make sure that we are at the first slice and all the way to the last slice. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's do, mm -hmm, mm, let's see. Let's do this one again. That was a good one. Let's do this one. These are all getting pretty close in on the insides of the big aperture, so, or in the insides of the inside aperture. So let's try those three and see what happens. 
they may have a little bit of a struggle with that little jump as well. And we'll find out in a minute. There we go, all organized. Let's see how well it did. All right, there's still a little bit of wiggle there, but it should be okay for the research that we're doing. Pretty stabilized, a little bit of a wiggle, but not too bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do, uh, we have these all aligned. We're gonna export these again. Actually, you know what we should do is we should make a new folder. So we're gonna go, not that one. We're gonna back here. This is so we're working on this folder right now. So let's do a new folder called stabilized images. And we're gonna go back to here, head over to file, save stack as sequence. Again, make sure that this is in dot bits. So the format has to be dot fits, not dot tiff. And we're gonna use the slice labels as the file names because they have so much information on them. We don't want to get rid of them. Stabilized imaged. Perfect, let's save. And it's going to take a minute to save. We can go and check on the saving by going and checking on this folder. See how many are saved so far. And it's adding more and more. You can watch it add more and more here. Alrighty. You can go check. We've got all 370, uh, all the way up to number 379, which is all 360 photos. We're all set. We finished our stabilizing. We've applied our bias dark and flat frames. We've fixed the meridian flip. We're good to go for data analysis now. Join us next time for the data analysis tutorial, and we'll see you then.